You made some friends. I was really scared no one would like me, so I didn't even try talking to people at first. Poor thing. You're plenty likable. I would be your friend. Hi everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time here on the channel, how's it going? If this is not your first time, oh, welcome back. All right, so you could probably deduce that I'm not feeling very well right now. Listen, I posted on Twitter the other day saying that I was sick. And let me tell you, like I had somebody that sent me a message, they're like, why are you always sick? <laughs> if I knew, believe me, we probably wouldn't be in this situation. I rolled with the punches. I was sick a couple of weeks ago, and then I got better. And thankfully I got better for a little bit because if you follow me on Instagram, Instagram, on Twitter, or you saw on the community page, on the Patreon, anything like that. Me and my friend David, this past week, we got to meet the cast of Scream, including the one, the only, Sydney the Prescott. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. It was such a wonderful, fabulous time. And I got to meet so many of my favorite people. I got to hang out with my friend. We went on a big hike on the 4th of July. Apparently I had too much fun because now I am sick. Like I am sick. I had to go to, to, to like an urgent care. That's uh, uh, just to, to help you understand right now where I'm at. Everything hurts and I'm dying. I'm gonna cut this intro a little bit short just to make sure because uh, I, uh, uh, uh. we are getting back into Heartstopper. If you did not watch my previous video on this, then I will kind of bring you up to speed a little bit. These reactions were recorded for Patreon only last year when season one first came out. And with season two coming pretty soon, I decided to edit those and put them on YouTube to share with everybody else. They were all recorded on the same day last year. I'm wearing the same outfit in all the videos, blah, 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 blah. You get the general idea. Before we get into the reaction, though, if you would be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you could help a poor, sick person in need, then you should do that. If you are interested in what I am doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Instagram and on Twitter. And if you would be so kind to help me buy some soup, help me buy some cough drops, something, pay for my medical bill, you know, all that stuff, you should check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an entire... Uh, words. What are words? You will get access to an exclusive catalog of full-length reactions, full-length audio commentaries, polls to help me pick what I watch next, and moving forward, all of my future reactions on the channel will be posted in full-length format on the Patreon a couple of days before they come out on YouTube, so you should check that out. Now it's time for the reaction, and y'all, I hope it turned out well, because delirium, just complete delirium while I was editing this, so yeah, here we go, uh, episode three and four of season one of Heartstopper. <laughs> you might like superhero movies? <laughs> what? Gosh, I mean, I looked up all of this stuff too when I was trying to figure out whether or not to come out. I mean, I knew I was gay, but I didn't want to admit to myself that I was gay, but I knew I was gay. Duh. But like having to like freak yourself out by reading all of this stuff. No matter what I do, it's by... Oh, 62% homosexual. <laughs> oh, don't cry. My 16th birthday party. You're gonna be there. Sounds good. You better bring some cool people with you as well. Oh my God. Is he gonna bring Charlie? I guess I can invite you, Imogen. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No. Is this Imogen, Emogen, Emogen, isn't that a person named Emogen Heap? Was that not the girl that the closeted boy from the first two episodes was dating? Why is she all hitting on him now? Nick's got a thing with Imogen now, No, anyways. no, I don't. He has two proper fit girls trying to get with him and he's not even bothered. <laughs> Ugh, Nick's friend group is the real f***ing problem. They're annoying. Do you want to go to Harry's party? With me. Oh. I... It's sweet that he's inviting you, but no. Because you know that nothing good is going to come from that. They're all going to make fun of Charlie, and it's just going to be a f***ing mess. Don't do it. Imogen is going to be trying to climb him like a tree. No. <laughs> That's me typing, screaming, oh my God, falling on the floor. I can't even control my emotions right now. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Ooh, Tao, the background, the lighting and the pictures on the background is gorgeous. 
That's right, Elle. See, Elle has logic. She's nice, she's calm, she's cool, she's collected. Tony. Yeah? Call me if you need me, okay? I will. Oh, God. The dad senses it. The dad knows. It's gonna be so bad. How many fucking people does this kid know? This is like a full on house party and they're at a mansion. <gasps> this is like in Chucky when they went to Lexi's party, that bitch Lexi. Ooh. Do you think I forgot about that? Hell no, bitch. But when they go to her party, you know, she dresses up like Jake's dad to make fun of him. Ooh. Look at him, he's looking for him too. I just wanted it to be like old times. It's not old times anymore. Just us then? Just us? Is he just struggling with like the group kind of going their own separate ways? Which is understandable. Why are you hanging out in here? It's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> Why was that funny? What's some important news for you? Tara Jones is it? So this is your big second chance, mate. I already want to hit this kid with a fucking tire iron. Ugh. You should go for it, right? Come on, she's just down the corridor. Ew, why? Uh, uh, are you gonna go for it? Do y'all even have pubic hair yet? Like, have your balls even dropped? Can you calm the fuck down? It's okay, Charlie, just breathe. Charlie's changing. What do you mean? Nick's stolen him. Wait a minute. Oh my God, does Tao like Charlie? All of this could have been avoided if I just... What? Told everyone I was a lesbian. Lesbian? Do you feel like we don't need to keep it that quiet anymore? You mean like come out? Maybe just not hide so much. Yes, give him all the hints and, and tips and tricks that he needs. Yeah, I know Charlie's friend. Are, are you friends? Yeah, yeah, we sit next to each other in form. Did you see the little look that she just gave him? She's like, mm-hmm. Where's Charlie? He better not be like crying in a bathroom or walking home or something. Why do you even hang out? He's my friend. But why? Do you feel sorry for him? Cause he's gay. That's homophobic, Harry. Drag him. I really don't like you. Yeah, drag that stupid bitch. Ooh, die! I love Nick. Nick and Charlie forever. Yeah that kid. Ugh. I'm so happy that he did that. I'm so happy. But sometimes change is a good thing. Harry's party probably isn't even that bad. No, bitch, it sucks. You made some friends. I was really scared no one would like me, so I didn't even try talking to people at first. Poor thing. You're plenty likable. I would be your friend. I actually needed to put myself out there or I'd just be alone. It's true, though. It's a good life lesson. You have to put yourself out there. That's a good change, right? It's a good change. I don't understand what's going on. Oh no, was that that boy that he was making out with in the first episode or two? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my God, Nick's gonna walk in on them. Do not touch me. Oh, thank God, thank God. Oh, I was about to be so mad. Okay, so I thought that Elle liked the lesbian girl, but maybe Elle is into Tao. That is correct. That's fine, they make a cute couple too. Look at all these kids, they're acting like they're at like, a, like the club. They're at the club, drinking their apple juice and shit. Come dance with me. Oh no, not this. <laughs> what is she doing? I was just looking for- No, 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 ooh. Do you like me? No. I really like you, Nick. Sorry to hear that. Get, get. So you can back up a little bit. That is so fucking beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. With the coloring and the light. Oh my God. I have chills. Aww. That's so sweet. Yeah, you go find your man, cause y'all can have that too. That's so fucking sweet. That was gorgeous the way that that was shot. I felt like I was in the way. I don't know if I wanna hang out with those guys anymore. I'd rather hang out with you anyway. I fucking love them. I fucking love them. I love them. I think he got the message this time. I'm so proud. Oh, it's kinda noisy in here, isn't it? <gasps> here we go. You wanna go to someplace more quiet? Yes! I know the game. I know the, how this works. If they go up into a bedroom and some shit starts going down and people walk in on them, I'm, oh, I'm freaking out. Just, just let the gays have something, okay? Please, God. So you don't have a crush on Nora at the moment? Breathe. 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 I didn't say that. What's she like then? You're just gonna assume they're a she. Ah! Would you go out with someone who wasn't a girl? Would you kiss someone who wasn't a girl? 
I don't know. Oh, I'm like, I'm afraid though, because Nick looks like really pained though. Like he's terrified. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. I hate it here. The homophobic straight, always ruining it. Ugh. Now, look, Charlie, I know you're freaking out right now, but you also have to understand he's still in the closet. He's done a lot so far. Let's chill a little bit, okay? There's no need to start anything. Just because you're in a bad mood at my birthday. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they rolling up on him like they're in a fucking gang? Just gonna go find the loot. Literally, the fucking idiot birthday kid and his friends, like, they, they literally just say, like, a word, like, How's the day today? <laughs> and then all the friends start laughing, like, what the fuck is funny? It's okay. It's okay. That is some fake-ass CGI rain. Ooh, that was bad. That was the Nathan and Haley run to you in the pouring rain moment. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so that was, what episode? That was episode three. Another solid episode. Again, the lighting, the cinematography, the set design is absolutely stunning. This was my favorite episode so far. The buildup of, are we gonna kiss? Are we not gonna kiss? The, you know, the little things with the hands and the shoes and the stuff like that. I know like if you've ever watched my notebook video on the channel, which is a fucking mess. I'm a huge fan of love and the concept of love. Love, love, love. That's, I'm all about that. And just that is everything to me. The romance, the butterflies in the stomach, everything, and they are nailing this. And unfortunately, it does have, you know, the typical kind of, I don't know if I want to call it a trope, but it's like a thing that a lot of a lot of the, the gay community complain about with films about gay people is that it consistently either ends in tragedy, like someone's getting gay bash, or somebody gets AIDS or HIV and dies. While obviously, you know, that happens in real life too, there's also healthy, happy gay relationships that are just happy. This kind of feels like it's splitting the diff. The characters are still progressing at a, at a good raid but you know they still had to deal with the bullshit on the side but i'm very very happy that once they got to the party charlie wasn't like bashed nick was like listen i'm not into you to the girl from the other school that thirsty girl that was trying to get impregnated with him on the dance floor he was like mm, bye but him showing up at the end in the rain the notebook, the most romantic scene, is in the rain. And if you've ever watched One Tree Hill, that's like a thing in One Tree Hill with two of the main characters. <sighs> Let's go to episode four, because I need to see what the f is about to happen. I'm sorry for not texting you. I just wanted to talk in person. Do you not have an umbrella? Yeah, yeah he's just picking up a jumper we left you last week. Well, don't forget we're going to grandma's this morning. We could have at least changed out of your pajamas. So the dad seemed nice. I don't know, the mom seems a little sketch right now. Um, is he getting nudie? He's like 14 now. I don't want to lose you because I did something stupid. Charlie. Oh my god, with the tippy toes. I love them. I love them. I'm so sorry. I... <sighs> Just get off his bed. You're wet. Like, honestly, I'm having a proper full on gay crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. See, that's good. Like y'all got the kisses out of the way, but now you need to, like he's going through it right now. So you just need to be there for him in that capacity right now. Let him take his time and just be there for him and supportive. I just don't really know if I can uh, come out as anything. It's fine. I mean, is it though? But see, now he's going through like the struggle bus part of, you know, the gay panic experience. <sighs> There's gonna be turmoil coming, I just know it. Cause it's like, we literally started this with him going through this with the other guy. The only difference is that Nick is nice to him. That was just beautiful. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, that was smart though. He let him go on a good note. He'd be like, you ain't leaving my house in turmoil. We're gonna leave you on a high. <laughs> Now let's just pray he doesn't get hypothermia and die. Look how happy he is, that's so cute. 
Is he gonna let him sit next? <gasps> Look at that big smile. Oh my God. I'm gonna be alone forever. I'll live vicariously through Netflix shows. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them after the last episode when they kiss on the dance floor. Oh, I hope we get a little bit more progression with like the L storyline because it's not like, obviously, you know, I love the storyline of Nick and Charlie, but I feel like I don't understand really what's going on with Tao and L. It's not as engaging as the other storylines so far. <laughs> ill, ill, underneath the used gum. Ooh. All they want to do at lunch is just sit on the field and chuck stuff at people. Chuck stuff. Yeah, because they're all dumb. Mr. Ajayi was the only teacher who really cared that much. I told him about the Ben making me keep us a secret thing. Which is literally what he told you to do as well. You're nothing like him. This is completely different. I mean, he is nice to you. Stand up! <laughs> Nick is like the head of the rugby team. So if he comes out and people are like, we don't want you on our team anymore, then the team's just not gonna win a game and then they'll learn. Is he actually gonna tackle anyone or is he just gonna stand there? Tackle his ass. Try not to worry about getting hurt and just throw yourself into it. Okay. Oh, they're gonna break him in half. Do you see him? A typical gay boy who can't do sports. A lot of gay people are good at sports, Charlie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gus Kenworthy. Woo, snack. That shot kind of reminded me, especially with the, the song lyrics, it reminded me of the poster for Call Me By Your Name. Now he's just gonna stand out here on the field and just start tackling inanimate objects and shit. I mean, whatever you gotta do. There you go. When you think about it, there are 1,200 people at this school, so at least a few of them are gonna be lesbians. Maybe you're a lesbian and you have no idea. I mean, potentially. Hi, gay. And people are still asking her if she's dating a guy. So that girl is her girlfriend. That girl, I'm right here. Yeah. I can't stand this Imogen. Emogen. What? I don't even know how to say her name. I don't like her. I don't like her and that streak in her hair. You and Nick Nelson are together. <laughs> delusional. This girl is delusional. I'm not like homophobic. You know, you're just f***ing annoying. Congratulations. We thank you for your service. Right. Bye. Go. Leave. Ugh. Ugh. She's a nightmare. <laughs> Oi, catch! <laughs> oh my god, I would have whooped his ass. Can I have the ball back? No, it's mine now. Ooh. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> don't, just pick up the ball and walk away. Not gonna flake out today, are you? Don't touch him. <laughs> We're counting on you. <laughs> Everything is funny to this fucking kid. This guy is blue. <laughs> like, shut up. Oh, so this is Taran Darcy? Yeah. I love them. You and Nick Nelson are looking suspiciously coupley. I promise we're totally platonic good friends. Nick, you are not allowed to get upset over that. Literally, this was your choice. I mean, I understand what you're going through, but that is your choice. You can't get upset about that. You asked him to keep it a secret. Whoever that first one was that just ran, that one too, those are not high school students. That man was at least like 24, 25 years old. Why are the other team literal adult men? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> They're a specialist sports school. Oh wait, they are adults? Like for real, for real adults? They're supposed to be adults within the show? Yeah, what we're proud of, yeah. Yeah, that's an adult. So wait, Charlie's afraid to tackle like a 14 year old kid, but he's expected to tackle grown men three times his size. He's a dead man. If Charlie makes it out of this match in one piece, that's all we can hope for. Look at her, she's cheering him on. Get a fucking clue, girl. Are you not embarrassed? We called out for him. Next thing you know, Charlie will be bringing the whole rugby team to our film night to making us watch Avengers or something. Listen, bitch, don't you dare come for no Avengers. Oof. I didn't come here and risk seeing all the Turin boys who used to pick on me just for you to tell me your friendship is falling apart. Yeah, town needs to chill the f out. Ugh, I have no patience for these types of people. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, you're, oh, honey, honey, honey. Well, he tried. E for effort. Is it okay if we keep this a secret? What the hell was that about? I don't understand that. He wasn't the one that said that. There's the leaves again. Uh, sorry for, um... Did I cock block you? Mm. What did you just say? I cock blocked you. Stop I, saying I totally... you were a cop. I better go. Okay. Isaac won't say anything. 
Okay. If this show does not end with them being together or happy as a couple, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Finally ready to make a move? Just piss off, Harry. If you're gonna be a coward about it. <laughs> Look, they're all fucking laughing again. It, there's nothing funny. Why are you laughing? Learn how to shut your fucking mouth. But maybe we could like go out somewhere. No. Like I guess sort of a date. No. Yeah. I guess so, sure. <laughs> Lord. Jesus, give me strength. Powers that be, Buddha, all of them. Everyone you can pray to. I need all the strength I can get. Well, that was episode four. Not my favorite episode. I mean, it was a good episode, but that was very much so like, we're stuck. We're in the will he or won't he, what do I do type part of the, the gay panic experience. I feel like I'm left with more questions. I mean, I know that the Emojin, Emojin. But she's not like doing anything on purpose. Like she's not doing anything bad. I mean, granted she was like trying to get into his phone and then putting her hands through her hair and then acting like the biggest desperate Debbie in the middle of the dance floor. So those three things lead me to not like her. She's like an, like an annoying Pomeranian. She's like Scrappy-Doo. Like everybody loves Scooby-Doo, but nobody fucking likes Scrappy-Doo. I don't know what the fuck's going on with, with Tao. He needs to get it together because I don't even understand. I feel like they're not like exploring that enough. I'm like, does he have a crush on Charlie? We'll see when we get into episode five.